judge, today's case, two can play that game. There's no other way to say it. This is just a hot mess in a shook champagne bottle. Let's see if we can just get through it. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Keela Robert and Joshua Franklin. The two of you have been married for, been together for five years, married for two. You, uh, you have no children together. Ms. Robert, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about your union and why we're here in divorce court today? We're here today, Your Honor, because my lying, cheating husband likes to entertain a lot of different women via social media. Give me okay. some examples. Okay, well, one day I'm on Facebook and I'm looking through his Facebook account and I see that he had made a whole new social media account. Uh-huh. Now, with the whole we social... We both did it. With the whole... <laughs> Mr. Franklin, I'm gonna get to you. With the whole social media we account... We both cheated. <laughs> I got you. Hang with on. the whole social media account, he decides he's gonna be in an actual relationship with a woman via social media and we live together. Yeah. You now, <laughs> another story. She had a whole relationship uh, with another Mr. Story. Franklin, <laughs> Mr. Frank, Mr. Frank, Mr. Franklin, look at me. Look at me. She... Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, another story. While I'm at work, Joshua decides he's gonna bring a woman to my house while he's watching my kids. I did. <laughs> while he's watching my kids, Your Honor. He sleeps with this woman. Mm -hmm. I find out that he tells this lady that my kids were his nephews. Oh. He's watching his what, nephews. What, what tell him about the time when I went to when I went Mr. to uh, Franklin? See my mama. Mr. Franklin. <laughs> Mr. Franklin. Mr. <laughs> Franklin. Mr. Franklin? You did a lot of that. Oh, okay. You can disrespect your wife, but you can't disrespect me. Your if I'm not talking to you, you keep your mouth closed. Mm -hmm. If you don't keep your mouth closed, I will excuse you from this proceeding. I will hand you her all the money she's asking for from you because you didn't have enough sense to act right in here. Do we understand one another? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Don't make me come back there again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Go ahead. It's just been several different incidents where he would go and uh, talk, like he had a, I don't want to call her like, um, special or off a little bit, but he had her sending him all type of like explicit photos um, of her body parts and everything like that. And I felt like he kind of used her in a way because she was vulnerable. Mr. Franklin, what are your response to those those accusations? Uh, we, we both cheated, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just chit-chatting with the kids. And I was like, well, what you and your mom did? And they was like, hey, stepdad, we got to tell you something. I was like, well, what's that, babe? Well, mom had a guy in here for two days. You had a whole relationship at the job. Ms. Robert, did you have a whole me? did you have a whole relationship yeah. at the job? And I'm not gonna deny your honor because he was doing the same thing. How, how I felt how, is how, okay. How low is how that? I, he slept with one of my my own family members, wow. Your Honor. Wow. You know, so when prove he did that, I was like, okay, well, prove, prove it. it. Prove it. Oh, okay. well, Mr. Franklin, so, who okay. started first? Who who was the first one to tip out? <laughs> well, I wasn't I wasn't the first one to tip out for us, as in just messaging or whatever, I'm going to admit to that. I did it. You were the first one? Yes, ma'am. Now, when you first did it, was it like something you said, oh, man, this happened, I'm, I'm so sorry about it, or is it something that you just intended to, ca well, to carry on and do throughout the relationship? Well, I, well, it's like I'm in the house with a total stranger. I don't get your time. You don't do your wifey duties. You, you, rather, be, you rather be with your... your, your can I say gay friends on camera? You I don't want to offend that. anybody, but you ready to be with your gay friends and hang out till 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay. When you say she doesn't do her wifely duties, could you expound on that? What wifely duties well, are she, you referring she, to? She don't meet my needs no more uh -huh. like she used to. I got you. You know, and I'm just tired of, I got to beg you for your time, and then you get mad. At how long into the marriage did you start seeing her drifting away yeah, from? Anna. I'm going to get back to you, <laughs> drifting away from you in a manner that you say allowed you to drift towards other women. About a good year. A year? Yes, ma'am. Do you know anything specific that happened in that year that might have caused that? Or is it just something that just occurred over time? It's just him. <laughs> Lies. Just his nature. Um, you don't know? No. That's all right, you don't <laughs> have to know. Now, Ms. Robert, what do you want to say? Well, Your Honor, 
True enough, I, I did talk to someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, I was looking for somebody to talk to. Me and him don't do nothing but argue. This is, this is all we do, back and forth, all day, every day. So when I did start, like, distancing myself and actually going off, you know, it was... It was all right, you know, because I felt like that would be our space between each other. Right, and the you same know, guy she cheated with. You know, he didn't have come to my house at 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, you cheated with a guy and you made a fake pregnancy. No, I didn't. Why are you yes, lying? Did. Yes, you did. Oh, my God, yes, you lying. Mr. Franklin, why yes, don't you... Did. Hang on, hang on. Mr. Franklin, what, what do you mean I mean, by I that? I actually met up with the guy. Explain that story to me. I actually met oh, up with the guy. Man. Tell, who, tell me about who, it. Who she had in the house for those two days when I was visiting my mom at the hospital. Right. I actually met up with him. And he was telling me everything. He wanted to know he didn't what, they was gonna, what they was going to do about the pregnancy. And I'm like, what? She can't get pregnant. So, what, so where is this coming well, from? Speaking of pregnancy, let's well, tell wait a minute, before, you before we to... speak of that, mm. respond to that. Did you tell the other guy that you were pregnant? Your Honor, that's a lie. It's a lie. This is a, this is a whole lie. I haven't seen her on man... Google. This man Googling had Googling fake pregnancy tests, but she actually went and made some and printed them out. Oh, my goodness. You, oh, my so God. So the guy handed me, me the fake forms. Like I'm that. like, dude, she can't even, oh, you know. Oh, okay. That even need her. Right. Yeah, that not even <laughs> her. Oh, so, man. Yeah. Ms. Roberts, what did you want to say? Your Honor, this guy uh, possibly has a baby on me right now. So for him to Lies. sit here and say that I'm out here cheating and making babies or fake babies at that, you know, what kind of sense does that make? Some, Why do you believe he possibly has a child out upset. there on you right because now? Because this... <laughs> because this, um... Uh, this girl, I actually talked to her. Mm -hmm. You know, we were in the blind about each other because he's mm -hmm. lying. Right. You know? Yeah. You so basically, too. he's Mr. sitting here... Franklin? He's sitting here lying right now, saying, oh, I didn't sleep with her, oh, that's not my baby, but you won't I get the DNA, I never told DNA you that. test to find out. I admitted to it. So how long was he in a relationship with this woman, be, uh, to, to the Back best of your knowledge? Back and forth for months. For months? Nope. Back and forth Two for months. months. Do you have any months. concerns that this Only other woman might be twice. pregnant with your baby? She is not mine, Your Honor, because she told you me at the last minute, DNA test. After, after we had, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. sex twice or whatever, she did a pregnancy test, and she wasn't pregnant. She got pregnant after me and her was... Was done. We're right done. Right after us, we was done. Yes, ma'am. You can't control anybody's behavior but your own. Yes, ma'am. So my right. question to you is, if you like having her around, why don't you treat her in a manner that you can keep her? Yes, ma'am. It was a question. <laughs> <laughs>it's impossible for him to tell the truth. It is. It's very lies. impossible because he constantly lies. He's just a compulsive liar. And it, it's crazy because I, I tell him all the time, if you don't want to be in this marriage, you let me know so let, I can let you go. You know? Well, let me and know. And it's just crazy <laughs> because, like, now he's saying, oh, let me go. But when I get ready to go, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, I don't want to live it's without so you. Weird. I don't want to do this. I don't want to <laughs> do that. So why sit here now today and act like you... Oh, you Mr. Mr. Good Guy and don't um don't do it wrong. Man. Okay. Mr. So Mr. Franklin, has she has she ever has I'll she leave. ever suggested to you that she wanted to leave? Has has that ever come up I've before? Left. She can go. And she mm -hmm. left and then That's she, not the question I asked. She would be gone for like an hour or two. Lying. She'll go to Florida <laughs> and she would come back. Uh -huh. You lying. Do you beg her to like come to back? Leave? Are you happy that she's gone? What's what's your response no, I, to her I, leaving? You know, I get I get depressed when she leaves because we are adults at the end of the day. So stay up. So <laughs> you could have fooled me. So but stay anyway. So, <laughs> Let me ask you a question. And this is just, just an honest question. Me to you. Yes, ma'am. If it depresses you when she leaves, why don't you do things that allow her to stay? Yeah. Well, why we both don't do things that allow each other to stay? Yeah. Like, now, no, but she, she doesn't say she's depressed when she leaves. She's happy when she goes because she's sick of you. Right. So my she... question to you, you can't control anybody's behavior but your own. Yes, ma'am. So All my right. question to you is, if you like having her around, why don't you treat her in a manner that you can keep her? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It was a question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we got nothing to say. <laughs> I couldn't shut him up, but when I ask him a, a rational question, he doesn't have anything to say. When's the last time you cheated on her? Uh, Be honest. 
That, that, those text messages <laughs> like, you just got, Yana, ain't even a month old. Well, yeah. These aren't a month old? 30, 30 days ago, old. then. 30 days ago? <laughs> 30 days yes, ago. Ma'am. Ain't even a month. And how old. often have you cheated on him? Right. I've cheated on him once. One time. Oh, my God. <laughs> once. Wow. How long ago? With that guy, this, this has been Woo. almost, almost so, two so, years, So you didn't have pictures of a guy from prison in your phone, pictures and stuff? You your got old, pictures your, of... Your, you got your, pictures of... Every woman you got in your oh, phone... Oh, I wish I was with you, you right now. You got a cat to match it. To oh, so yeah. match the face. So guess what? Mr. Fra- so Mr. Franklin, no, Mr. Too? Franklin, Mr. Franklin, you tell lying. me about the, the, the guy in prison. Uh, as as a, due to uh, me finding a little spy app or whatever she had on the phone, I went in her phone as well right. and found some things too. So I was like, well, we both out here seeking then. Yeah. What did you find, <laughs> though? Uh, pictures of guys in the phone and... Text message from her old ex. You right. Uh, saying that, oh, I wish I was there with you now and stuff like that. The same that. one he said How I you want to the make love to The same one he said I faked the pregnancy to. Nope. Apparently, neither one of you uh, treats this marriage as one. We don't. You, no. You, you cheat, you run around like you just dating. I mean, you whatever. Does either one of you want to maintain this relationship or is this no. for real the end? Well, there you have it. No. I do. You do? I, I, I think that, you know, with mm-hmm. a little counseling or whatever, we can possibly... You really do? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, now, all of a sudden, you want to open up and you want to talk today? It goes both ways. For all of these, all of these years that I put up with this because I love you? No, I'm tired. I'm tired. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. So if you want to keep her, what would you, what, what would you propose as a, as a practical plan to proceed in that direction? Uh, just... You know, quit roaming. <laughs> you know. Now, if he quit roaming, would you stay with no. him? No. Huh? No. I'm over it, Yana. You done? I'm over it because I'm tired. I put over this over and over. And when I talk to him, it's a brick wall. Oh, now, all of a sudden, you want to open up and you want to talk today? It goes both ways. For all of these, all of these years? That I put up with this because I love you? No, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. He's going to constantly keep talking to women like he's been doing. Like he's been doing. Just a few days before we got here, he was, uh, him and a lady's husband got into it about him inboxing a woman. You know, well, the, ain't nothing going to change. The girl was inboxing me. And he was just, asking just her so if she wanted I didn't, some oil. I, didn't, I was responding to it because she, she has like little freaky little stuff on her post that she be saying. So I went coming on the post. So I was like, well, wow, you want your stuff? Like you just get on, you know, Facebook mm-hmm. and post stuff like mm-hmm. this, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm, Tell me about both of you are suing each other for telephone. Oh, yes, ma'am. The only one that's winning in this whole <laughs> in this entire relationship is either the Samsung or iPhone people. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> uh, they, getting, they, they getting all the money. Uh, Ms. Roberts, you want $300 for the value of a cell phone that you say he broke from throwing it down the street. And Mr. Franklin, you're countersuing her for three telephones. Right. $1,004.84. $1, Come on. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. I broke them. How many did you break? Three. Three. <laughs> Maybe five. I, I, I can't keep up, but I did. If he stopped doing the things that he was doing on social media, talking to different women, his phone, he was still having Did his you phone break set. her phone? I most certainly did. He I thought, it, I thought it was Jackie Robinson when I hit it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You said something that, that, that distressed me, and I want to address it. Yes. You said 
if he doesn't want to be in the relationship, let me go. A lot of women say that in here. And I want you to know that you don't need anybody's permission to leave. He does not have, he is not the one with the exclusive right to decide whether or not. If you are not happy, if you are not whole, if your soul is dark because of what he's doing to you, you have a right to leave. And if he wants to whine, cry, do whatever he needs to do, we're gonna tell you, oh, I'm gonna kill myself because you're leaving me. Don't listen to that. Because he has, he has all the power in the world to keep you. All he had to do, I don't even think you had to teach you great. If you just, he treated you decently, you probably would have stayed. So he's telling you that you should feel guilty for the fact that you don't want to stay and be emotionally abused. And I'm telling you, you got the right to go. You don't need anybody's permission. All you need is those two feet right there. Yes, and you need to walk them but... right on out the door. <laughs> Mr. Franklin. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you have to behave better than your community allows you to. Yes, ma'am. You can't be a boy who runs around and has sex with whomever they can, whenever they can, without regard to the woman to whom you promised your life. If you can't be faithful, if you have no intention of caring for and supporting and loving a woman and making a home and making a, 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 making a solid foundation for her community, because she's got kids. I know they're not your kids, but when you beat her up, you beat her kids up because she's holding them. And if you feel it necessary to treat women like they're fungible commodities, then you're killing the community. Killing it! Yes, ma'am. You're making the women that you're cheating with crazy. You got that one woman who, she even had compassion for her based upon what you were doing to her, taking advantage of her. Be a better man than that. Don't be the reason the, the community collapses. Be the reason the, the community rises above. You yes, got to be better. Yes, you got to be better. You two were tacky, loud, and ridiculous tearing up telephones. Uh, you sent me five pieces of paper all with the exact same phone. So I know y'all just went home, Googled something, and printed it out and gave it to me. So I don't have any basis upon which to actually believe you spent the exact amount of money that you see here. Besides that, it would be just horrifying if I gave you money when your hands aren't clean. You can't, you, you can't come in here doing every foul thing in the world, you know, and then, you know, start a fight and somebody, you know, no, not doing it. You're a wonderful woman. Don't let who he is and what he did to you define your future. Do not let his failures, his, his, his inconsistencies, his, 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 his bad behavior sink into your soul and make you believe that you don't deserve any better, because you do. You absolutely do. I wish you all the best in the world. And get better, be better. Step on, enjoy your life. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. What's next for you? Just moving on with my life. Mm -hmm. Just trying to gain some more composure for myself and get my dignity back to where it used to be. What's next for you now? I just gotta keep it pushing. I mean, I hate that everything happened. I'm sorry about everything, but hey, she won out, she won out. Do you think you can fix this? Is it fixable? I don't know. This is pretty much a done deal.